what we have to start thinking about more seriously is something I've been writing and talking about for several years now, which is the issue of social capital. And social capital is a, you know, a term derived from sociology, um, which shows that in times of stress, com some communities do very much better than others. And after you factored out everything else, actually what makes the difference, it's what's called social capital, which is the level of, of um, trust, reciprocity and generosity felt by and manifested by the people who inhabit that community. Um, and I've written extensively in Uncharted about companies undergoing existential crises. So moments when the company literally teetered on the brink of collapse. And what's really incredible is I interviewed chairman and CEOs and senior execs. And these were really gut-wrenching interviews. And at some point, just about everybody I interviewed had tears in their eyes, simply remembering how intense these experiences have been. And when I asked them, well, what on earth got you through this? Because some of these crises went on for years. Every single one of them had the same answer, which was, it was my colleagues. My friends and my colleagues got me through this. That, you know, when I went, I couldn't take it any longer, they carried the weight. And when they couldn't carry it any, any longer, I shouldered the burden. And that huge sense of collective value and shared respect was actually what made the difference between the life and death in these companies. But here's the thing. I think this is profound. I think it's always been profound. I think we are social animals and we get the bulk of our motivation from each other. Companies don't have ideas, only people do. And what motivates people is each other. And that has been very clear in the companies that have really looked after their workforce. And it's interesting because I've been having a lot of conversations, both with kind of financial um, regulators and people who run investment companies and people who are particularly concerned with governance around, you know, maybe as well as ROI and ROE, we should start looking at some kind of measure of resilience, which captures not just, you know, IP, goodwill, uh, technology and um, um, cash, but captures actually how strong a social fabric does this organization have? When the chips are down, will people step up or step off?